In this video, we're going to be talking about how to mask hair and change the background in five minutes or less. Now, this is one of the tons of ways of masking hair and changing backgrounds. But here's the thing. No matter how difficult the hair is, no matter how messy it is, no matter how blown away it is, you can easily change the background in no time provided. And this is a big if provided that your background is gray. Which tells a whole new story. Whenever you're shooting and you have planned that you'll put the subject in a composite or make a composite of it, shoot it in that way. Keep the background as such that it becomes easy for Photoshop to determine and select and extract the subject out of it, right? So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in the mystical world of Photoshop and before we jump straight in, we need to understand how this works because that's major. Now, we have overemphasized and emphasized this that overlay is such a blend mode which deletes everything which is 50% grey. It makes everything invisible which is 50% grey. Now, keep that in mind for now. Now, think of it like this. Have a look. For example, this is a subject and this is the background and the background is grey. Now, if you place the background which you want to actually put behind the subject above it into an another layer and change the blend mode to overlay watch how perfectly it covers up the background. How? How is it doing that? Now, overlay is deleting everything which is 50% grey from this image, right? And those 50% grey which is missing from this is being filled up by the 50% grey of this layer and only in those areas which are the background because you shot in a grey background. Make sense? Therefore, it's very essential to keep in mind the background while shooting if you're planning a composite. So let's jump straight back in into a practical example. By the way, this image was submitted by Shawnee Annette. She's an awesome portrait photographer. You gotta go ahead and check out her work right here. So I, I didn't mean to hit the mic, by the way. So let's go ahead and load up the background. So I'm gonna use the Pixel Photoshop plugin to do that. So I'm gonna click here and just click on the background and that will download the image and that will load up as a layer. Now here's another thing that I wanted to talk to you about. If you're not using the plugin, what you can do, you can go to File, Open up the image that you want to keep as a background and locate it and open that as a layer in this. You know the drill, you know how to do or what you can do. You can go to file, place embedded and locate the background and that will open up as a layer as a smart object into the same document. So let's go ahead and make it bigger and let's resize this controller command T and let's resize that. Now do the same thing. Change the blend mode from normal to overlay now watch now this doesn't quite look as awesome as the example one because you know in real life the subject is not that colorful so we need to adjust it but look at the hair look at the hair look at how beautifully the hair has been selected we need to do a little bit of adjustments but have a look at the hair right so you might want to make the picture a little more brightened so add a curves just above the background layer and let's increase the value just a little bit there you go Great. Now let's go back to the background layer and hide those areas which look funky. So let's come back to the background layer and create a mask. Okay. Now take a big brush for now. Take a big brush, make it bigger. Okay. And just make it a little harder and paint a little outside from the subject. Okay. Very quickly do it. You don't have to be perfect. Just this way. Done. Okay. Done. Now decrease the size of the brush. Here is the key. Decrease the size of the brush, make it softer, okay, and start painting along the edges with white color. We painted with black. Now we paint with white. Press X to toggle between black and white here and just paint with white, right? Here you go. Look. Slowly, steadily, and you can decrease the flow to somewhere around 40 or 30 ish. And let's go ahead and do that fairly easily. Look how beautifully the edges of the hair is being selected. No problem. It's no problem at all, right? So just fill it up in. It's very easy to do. No time taken. And if you go extra, you can press X again and paint here, right? You can do that. So paint in the outskirts. There we go. And it takes no time. Have a look. So beautifully it does the job. 
Now you can make the brush a little smaller for integrate intricate areas and simply paint over those areas. There you go. And you know the job, you know the drill, right? You need to take care a little bit here. But have a look at the hair. It has done such a beautiful job, right? So let's, let me just quickly do it, okay? So we are pretty much done, really quick job. Let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit and have a look how beautifully we have just selected the background. We have masked the subject. Now you can always go ahead and uh, press and hold the alter option and click on the mask and select and see how the mask is. Now there are a couple of places we need to clean up. Take the brush, make sure the color is white and just clean this up properly. Okay, all right. Clean this up properly. There we go. And now, press and hold alter option, and click on this again, and that will return to the original state. There we go. Now, we can adjust the subject according to the background fairly easily. Now, add a curves adjustment layer, another curves adjustment layer, just above the background layer, okay? Curves adjustment layer. And in this curves adjustment layer, we're gonna affect just those areas which we deleted from the background layer, from this background layer. So, press and hold alter option, Click on this mask and drop it here. Replace layer mask, yes. Now, we need just the opposite. Now, if we change the values in the curves, it's gonna affect the background, we don't want that. We just want to affect the subject. So how do we do it? Invert the mask. Select the mask, control a command I, there we go. Now we can adjust it according to the subject. There we go, there we go. Have a look, have a look how nicely the hair has been masked. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Now you can always go ahead, back to that mask and take the brush and paint in with black to the areas that you want more details from. Here, there you go. There you go. So that's how you do it. You can take more time if you want, but you don't need more time. And the best thing about this method is that once you have your masks ready, you can always go ahead and try this in different backgrounds, right? So for example, I just loaded this background and let's go ahead and make it a little larger. And, right, in a new layer. And then all you have to do, change the blend mode from normal to overlay, turn off this background and copy this mask here. Press and hold alter option, copy this mask to this one. There you go with this background. You can change as many backgrounds as you want and you can make the necessary adjustments in the curves, right, in this curves, according to the background, according to how light or dark the background is. So you get a general idea of how to do it, right? So that's how you mask hair and change backgrounds using the basic concept of overlay. Now, just a quick recap. First things, load the subject with a gray background and then above it, load the background and then change the blend mode to overlay, add a mask and rub out, delete those areas, paint in black in those areas which are the inside of the subject and just leave out the edges, sometimes the edges of the hair. Then you might go ahead and add a curve or two for adjustments here and there and that's pretty much it. So I'm giving you this photo to try this out and I'm really looking forward to what you come up with. Post it online, it would be really nice if you tag me, if you don't want that's okay. So that's pretty much it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not to subscribe, make sure you ring the bell so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. I'm flying high, but I got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you.